Hello everyone. I am here for a layout that I'm going to put together. It is going to be of a raccoon for, um, this is uh, some photos I hadn't done for my Uncle Donald's farm field trip with my kids at school. And this one I have planned before I sent my gypsy out. So I put, imported it to Cricut Craft Room and I'm going to do that one today. And my paper <clears throat> come from Colorbox Pattern Paper Pattern Pack. Okay, and then my background page is this. And my photo mats are going to be of this pattern. Okay. And let's see here. I think I'm going to start with my, well, let me lay out the first page because it's going to be two pages. My photo mats are three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I have my title. It's just going to go like so. Like that. And that's pretty even. And here it comes. Stay right there. Don't move. Um, my title is from All Mixed Up, and it is one, and I cut it at one and a quarter inches high. I have a grass border which I wanted to ink. I forgot to do that. So I will do that real quick. Find the green that I want. Oh my goodness, cat, take, beat it. And here we go. Sorry, I meant to do this before I started. And I forgot. I just kind of just go along the edges and know particular neatness. like to do that so it kind of sticks out off the page a little bit see to me it just looks better I'm liking that I just like to do this part before I start so All right, if you don't know how to do it, this is how. Always wanted to ink your edges of your die cuts. This is how I do it. And the more ink you have on your little foam, um, the darker it will be. All right, that one's for my second one. All right. Okay. Right in a little bit. 
All right, okay, and let's see here. I got my little raccoon. He's gonna go here, and I have a tree, and it's gonna go there. I was trying to decide if I wanted to ink the tree. Because once it's down, it's down. I don't think I have anything. Test a spot. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. And I'll just use this part of a cosmetic wedge. This one actually I used with blue. Actually, my poop age that I have uploaded. No, Reese. No. Oh, she's such a pain. As long as you stay over there. together okay so this is how I want this page laid out okay something like this so all right and and my tweezers and hop to it. And I don't think I'm going to do any kind of doodling to my black letters. And I chose black because I wanted it to kind of pop off the page. I didn't want to use white or pink or anything like that. I wanted to use something more bold. Oh my goodness, I can't get this. Okay. one. Okay. All right, and then next I'm going to put down my photo mats. <clears throat> sure they're even. I'm just funny that way. Yeah. 
Alright, just like so. And the next one. Fast, my ATG isn't sticking. Alright. And stay straight. No, that'll work. Alright, and I'm going to do the grass next. And I'm not going to glue the very tops because I need my tree. Cat, you're in my way. Okay. top and a tree behind. Mm. No, I can't put this behind him on top, I think. Yeah, I like him on top. Just like this. And the tree. Not to glue all the way at the top because I have to put the pictures in here. Put it over here a little bit so I can have it in the grass and the trunk will still show. And then once I get the picture in here, then I will come back and glue that down. Alright, so that completes page one. And let me see if I can get excuse me okay and this is going to be oh. <laughs> I don't think I told you my on this one the raccoon in is in the trees are from create a critter and the raccoon is three inches high and the trees are 3.53 inches wide by 4.33 inches high and the grass is from everyday paper dolls and it is 8.43 inches wide my paper is actually eight and a half it actually goes from corner to corner so i'm gonna say my the craft room says it's 8.43 but uh it goes all the way across, so I'm going to say it's more closer to eight and a half, and then 1.42 inches high. Okay, because I forgot to tell you sizes of those. And then these are going to go, oh, let me take a peek. This one is going to lay this way. Let me zoom out a little bit. Alright. This is going to go this way and then this one's going to go here. My journaling is from Georgian Basic Shapes and it's three inches. Trees, which 
Oh, there it is. I'm going to get a different makeup wedge. It's using it that way is kind of hard. Okay. Whoopsies. Sorry. I'm crazy. All right. Push this down. Brush it on. It's not just a little bit, but a little bit noticeable. Not a whole lot. It just gives it that little extra oomph that it needs. Sometimes I chalk the edges, depending on my mood. Do I feel like chalk, or do I just feel like ink in it? But sometimes I like the way ink will look better. More bright, if I want it more bright. Then chalk leaves it more soft and subtle. And when I get done with this video, I'm going to run and see if FedEx I'm waiting on I set it outside but I like to make sure check it and see if they picked it up and then check online and make sure they picked it up and no one took it so I have to keep an eye on it especially since I'm home and make sure it's still out there not, then check on it. I told them I'd have it sitting outside. Cause I heard it, something that sounded like a truck. I don't know if it's a garbage truck. Or if it's my garbage day is tomorrow, but I heard a truck. I'm expecting a delivery too, also. A different cat box than my cat genie because it about burned down my house, so I am not doing a cat genie. And it worked, it didn't work more than it worked. The cats aren't happy, I ain't happy. So we're getting rid of the cat genie. It's going in my attic. In the company says that they didn't receive the old ones and I sent them so they are sending me my final replacement so I'm boycotting that Your customer service is horrible but anyway Reese move okay <clears throat> so let's see we are ready to glue this down Oh my goodness, Reese. Okay, girl, you need attention all at the wrong times. You need to learn the right time to bother me. It's always now. She was doing just fine, and as soon as I hit record, it's like, oh, time to go bother her. Bulldog over here whining and wanting to play tire. Wonder if he's getting sick. Hope not. It's been in and out of the vet so much they know him without looking at his records. <laughs> Between the cat scratching his eye to my Rhodesian Ridgeback beating him up because he don't know how to leave her alone. She doesn't want to play. 
She likes to play one. She's wanting to play that one. He does. And he doesn't put all with her. Pig headed, I guess. Okay. And let's see here. These trees. Let me lay these out. Because they are going to go like so. But I want these more up like this. Okay, this one I'm going to put down first. So I know where he goes. Like so. Then let me put I'm going to put this one down first. Oh my goodness. It's just been a wild and crazy last week. Oh boy. Reese, what did I tell you? My goodness. Please, girl. Not right now. I need to go get them some kitty food. They act like they're going to starve to death. Sorry. That just isn't... Something don't look right. It look like I had it. how it's going. Alright, and that is the second page and let me zoom out out <laughs> and see if I can get and here we go. There's the two pages and I will take pictures as I always do to show you you know closer details. And so that completes my layout so far today, layout number one. And so I thank you for watching. Bye.